Peace and blessings, royal family. So, what is an empath? I'm going to talk about that for a quick minute. All right. An empath, in its basic terms, is somebody that's sensitive, sensitive to um, energies. These energies are subtle energies, such as thought energies, emotional energies. These is brought on through a person's astral body or macabre actually expanding and it constantly is expanding so they could pick up not just immediate things but they could also pick up things long distance as they mature okay so what are the symptoms of the empath and what is this empath thing about all right well empaths is your typical people that you see that is isolated they keep to themselves and their isolation or keeping to their self, I would say presently, but it's from experiences that occurred in the past that make them the way they are. You see, empaths, being that they're sensitive to energies, they can sense what's going on inside of us. They're more prone to tell us the truth about ourselves than we would tell our own truth. And so they can sense what you feel, what isn't going on inside of you emotionally. Now, you know, most empaths from, are born with this. So from a child, when this occurs, you know, they are really the truthers of the world. And most of the time they get scolded by their parents for telling these truths. So empaths learn to not tell the truth. They tend to sway to the other side, take you away from the truth, or actually lie to you just so that they won't hurt you or make you act up because a lot of people can't face the truth really and so that's what's one thing with the empath that make them separate themselves from society or regular people because a lot of people don't want to face their truth and the empath can sense it and know it now with an empath it's harder for them too because people take advantage of them because they're so sub um, sensitive to energy they're like um shapeshifters reptilians they actually come into an environment and if the environment is happy or whatever they also become happy and their mood become happy if it's a down sad environment or a negative environment they turn negative and, 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 and fit right into the environment so they always shape shift in as far as emotion to suit the situation because it's out of survival instincts from being you know getting in trouble in the past so empaths always is like pleasers you could say but they're not the ego pleasers they're a different type of pleasers they're pleasers that learn this from experience that their truth is so deep or real most people don't want to face it and will put them in a bad situation or get into arguments so aside from that the basic of empaths is that whatever a person feels say you got a headache a, a true empath which is a, there's a two lines this empathy which every human being has you know when somebody dog die you feel sorrow or pain for them but an empath now say you woke up with a headache and your stomach hurt and you know you have a hangover and your empath friend come by when they come in the room they're gonna feel a headache come upon them their stomach is gonna hurt they're gonna have all the symptoms you have an empath if you have a cold they could pick up your cold just from being around you they could pick up your if whatever you have they'll get the symptoms basically to summarize it so that's the sign of an empath so empaths tend to actually isolate themselves because of some of these reasons that i'm explaining to you also because of their open heart you know their heart chakra is so open they're quick to synthesize with people and it pulls them in and drag them into people's life and they start trying to organize a person's life and help the person and wind up putting themselves into situations when they do that. So empaths are people who actually can't help but helping people. They don't know how to say no. You know, they're always getting themselves caught up into things because of that simple fact they can't say no. And it's not their fault. They wish they could say no because of their empathy, though, they find something that actually they can see in themselves that make them attach themselves to people to help them. So empaths, after a while, they learn these lessons and start isolating themselves because actually when they um, get their self heartbroken, used, abused, and it keep happening over and over again, they become an energy theft. It, it sucks their energy. With empaths, just being in the same room with somebody that's sad, their energy gets sucked from them and it goes into the person and the person feels better and happy. And now the empath is wearing that negative energy. 
So these are all signs of an empath. An empath is also 100% psychic because that's how they're able to read your energy signals or your vibrations as they come into the room. So these now is something they have to live with. And so empaths have to learn to isolate themselves, how to take energies off of them from them being outside. That's called purification. They have to purify themselves. You know, you have methods such as using candles and um, actually just meditation. You know, visualizing when you're meditating a ball or a white light circling you and that will heal you. And actually you can use it for protection. So empaths usually are the ones that start using psychic abilities and have ma magical skills because they have to use it first as a form of protecting themselves. A basic empath can be in the same room with another person really unless their energy vibration is on the same frequency. If it's not on this frequency, it's going to be an evil or give or take, an uneven exchange of energy. If the empath keeps going through these uneven energy exchanges, it literally have a fatal um, effect on him, a fatal heart attack, something that's going to take something really bad or maybe even kill him. I don't want to say that, but it can.